food and nutrition. Introduction Any food item is made up of two or more ingredients. These ingredients come from either plants or animals. They also contain some biochemicals called nutrients which are necessary for our health. In the absence of nutrients, we may become weak and fall sick. Food nutrients are of different kinds and they are required in different amounts by our body. The main types of nutrients in the order of their requirements are carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals. Other than these nutrients, food items also contain water and vegetable or dietary fibers called roughage. Role of nutrients in our body On the basis of functions, the nutrients perform, we can group them into three categories. Bodybuilding foods These foods are rich in protein and helps our body to grow. Energy giving foods These foods are rich in carbohydrates and fats. They provide energy to our body to function. Protective foods They are rich in vitamins and minerals. They protect our body from diseases, strengthen our immune system and regulate our metabolism. Components of food The major components of our food are Carbohydrates Carbohydrates are the main energy-giving foods. They are produced in green plants through the process of photosynthesis. Sugar and starch are main forms of carbohydrates. They give energy to our body. Sugars are used to provide instant energy while starch releases energy slowly than sugars. Rice, wheat, potato, banana, bread and sugar are main sources of carbohydrates. Excessive carbohydrates get stored in our body as fat. Fats Fats are also energy-giving foods. They produce more energy than carbohydrates. Fats are greasy foods obtained from plants and animals. They are stored under the skin and around organs like the heart and kidneys. When we lack in energy, our body uses these stored fats. Butter and ghee are animal fats. Groundnut, oil, sunflower, coconut oil, mustard oil, other vegetable oils and nuts such as almonds, cashew nuts, etc., are sources of fats obtained from plants. Fats of plant origin are called unsaturated fat and they do not contain any cholesterol and so are healthy for human beings. Fats of animal origin are called saturated fats and they contain cholesterol and are not considered good for human beings. An adult human body requires about 70 to 80 grams fat per day. Proteins Our body is made up of billions of cells. These cells are mainly made up of proteins. Children require more proteins as compared to adults for the growth of their body. Our body also needs proteins to repair and replace damaged cells. Because of this, our diet should be rich in proteins. Proteins are compounds of carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen and oxygen. Similar to fats, proteins are also obtained from both plants and animals. Pulses, cereals, beans, ground nuts and dry fruits are the sources of plant proteins. Milk, eggs, meat, fish are the main sources of animal proteins. The total requirement of proteins for an adult is about 50 to 60 grams per day. Vitamins Vitamins are a group of nutrients that our body requires in small quantities. They protect us from various diseases and infections. If our body lacks any vitamin, we may suffer from certain diseases called deficiency diseases. Vitamins need the vital organs of the body in good conditions and their intake keeps the teeth, bones and eyes healthy. Vitamin A is present in milk, fish oil, papaya, carrots, mango. Vitamin B complex is present in dal, rice, unpolished, liver, meat, apple. Vitamin C is present in orange, lime, amla, guava, green chilies, tomatoes. Vitamin D is present in 
milk, butter, eggs, liver, meat, fish. Minerals Minerals are nutrients which perform particular functions in the body. They are essential for strong bones and teeth, nervous system and normal blood pressure. A small quantity of minerals is required in our diet. Minerals have no energy value. Rich sources of minerals are milk, cheese, green leafy vegetables like spinach, pulses, meat and eggs. Some of the important minerals are iodine, phosphorus, iron and calcium. Calcium is needed for strong bones and muscles. It also helps in clotting of blood in case of injury. Iron is needed for formation of hemoglobin in the blood. Sodium and potassium help to maintain water balance in our body. Sodium is needed for sending messages to and from brain to various body parts. Iodine is needed for the proper functioning of the thyroid gland. Foods that provide minerals are Iodine is present in salt, fish, water chestnut, spinach. Phosphorus is present in milk, dal, rice, banana, green chilies, fish. Iron is present in milk, spinach, apple, papaya. Calcium is present in milk, eggs, bone soup. Water Water makes up almost 70% of our body weight. Most of it is present in the cells of our body. Water constitutes the liquid part of the blood called plasma. Life processes cannot occur without water. It plays a vital role in all functions of our body. It helps our body to absorb nutrients from food. It transports nutrients throughout the body. It collects wastes from different parts of the body and removes them from the body in the form of urine and sweat. Sweat is the salty water excreted by our body cells. It helps in regulating our body temperature in a warm or a cold environment. We lose a lot of water every day as we breathe, sweat or expel wastes out of our body. About half of this water is replaced by the water in the food we eat. Fruits and vegetables contain large quantities of water. The other half is replaced by the water we drink. Human beings need 3 to 4 litres of water every day to stay healthy. Despite being vital for our body, water does not provide any energy. It only serves as a solvent in which all chemical reactions take place. Roughage Roughage may not provide us nutrients but is an essential component of our food as it contains plant fibers that are required for proper digestion of food and removal of undigested food. The main sources of roughage are fruits and vegetables like spinach leaves, lettuce, cabbage leaves, onion, cucumber, tomatoes, etc. Balanced diet It is not sufficient that our body receives all the nutrients. It should also receive them in balanced quantities for proper growth and maintenance of our body. No single food item contains all the nutrients. Therefore, we need a combination of food items. A diet containing all the nutrients in right quantities is known as balanced diet. In a balanced diet, energy-giving foods, body-building foods and protective foods are present in correct proportions. The proportion of nutrients varies from person to person based on their age and the amount of physical work they do. So, a balanced diet varies with age, health and occupation of an individual. Calorie The amount of energy present in a food item is measured in calorie or kilocalories. 1 kilocalorie is equal to 1000 calories. The calorie in the food you eat and the beverages you drink every day play an important role in maintaining your weight and health. Proteins and carbohydrates both provide 4 calories per gram while fats provide 9 calories per gram. Nutrients such as vitamins, minerals and water do not provide any energy on consumption. Cooking or food Food items such as 
vegetables, cereals and meat are cooked before eating. Cooking makes the food soft, tasty and easy to digest. But wrong cooking methods destroy several nutrients present in the food items. Food should not be cooked at high temperature for a long time as it destroys the nutritional content in it. Deep frying of food adds excessive oil to the food, making it harmful for consumption. Vegetable and fruits should be washed before cutting or peeling them. However, overwashing results in the loss of some vitamins and minerals. Washing rice and pulses repeatedly also results in the loss of vitamins and minerals. Food should be cooked in enough water because throwing the extra water away contains nutrients present in the food. Vitamin C gets destroyed during cooking due to heat. Therefore, we should eat raw fruits and vegetables to get vitamin C. Deficiency Diseases Many people in the world cannot afford a balanced diet due to poverty. Some others cannot get a balanced diet because of unhealthy food habits like eating fast food, junk food, etc. People who do not get the right amount of nutrients from their food suffer from deficiency, diseases, prolonged lack of energy giving and body building nutrients in the body causes malnutrition. It mostly affects children and is a major cause of infant mortality in developing countries of the world. Some of the deficiency diseases are as follows. Deficiency of Carbohydrates Carbohydrates are the main source of energy for the food. So, people with carbohydrate deficiency in their diet are weak and do not have enough stamina. They cannot bear physical and mental strain. Eating too much of carbohydrates also leads to ill health. Extra carbohydrates are converted and stored as fat in the body. This results in obesity. Obesity contributes to various problems like heart diseases, high blood pressure and diabetes. Deficiency of Proteins Deficiency of proteins in the diet leads to decreased ability to heal wounds, reduce muscle growth, etc. Lack of proteins in children results in stunted growth and muscular degeneration in case of old age people. Excess of proteins in the body is also harmful as it can lead to kidney stones and other disorders. Deficiency of Vitamins and Minerals Vitamins and minerals are the essential substances that our body needs but cannot manufacture. Therefore, their requirement can only be met by the food we eat. Vitamins are necessary for the normal development and functioning of the body systems. They regulate body activities. Each vitamin is needed for a specific purpose. Deficiency of one or more vitamins leads to deficiency diseases. These diseases can affect eyes, skin, bones, hair and general growth of the body. Like vitamins, minerals are also needed by the body in very small amounts. They are supplied to our body in the form of salts through various foods. Deficiency of minerals in the body causes deficiency diseases. Overdose of vitamins and minerals also results in the toxicity resulting in disturbed functioning of the body. Vitamin deficiency diseases are Deficiency of vitamin A causes night blindness, xerophthalmia and symptoms are poor night vision, complete blindness. Deficiency of vitamin B causes beriberi and symptoms are muscular weakness, loss of strength. Deficiency of vitamin C causes scurvy and symptoms are bleeding from gums, wounds do not heal easily, recurrence of common cold. Deficiency of vitamin D causes rickets and symptoms are bones become soft and deform. Mineral deficiency diseases are Deficiency of calcium causes soft and weak bones stunted growth. Deficiency of phosphorus causes weak bones and teeth body weakness. Deficiency of sodium causes dehydration extreme body weakness. Deficiency of potassium causes muscle weakness, paralysis. 
Deficiency of iron causes anemia. Deficiency of iodine causes goiter, enlarged thyroid. Deficiency of fluorine causes dental decay. Tests for the presence of nutrients in our food. All nutrients may not be present in enough quantities in a food item. One nutrient may be in larger quantity while others may be in very less quantities or even absent. How can we find out which nutrient is present in a food item? We can confirm the presence of a nutrient in a cooked or raw food by performing some tests. The test for carbohydrates, proteins and fats are simple and we can perform them easily. For conducting the tests, some equipments and chemical solutions are required. They are test tubes for petri dish, kitchen knife, glass dropper, glass rod, iodine solution, copper sulphate solution, sodium hydroxide, caustic soda solution. In case the solutions are not available for the test, you can prepare these solutions by the following few methods. Iodine solution. Procure tincture iodine available at any chemist shop. Add 4 to 5 drops of tincture iodine in 10 milliliters of water to prepare an iodine solution. Copper sulphate solution. Dissolve 2 grams of copper sulphate crystals in 100 ml water to prepare copper sulphate solution. Caustic soda solution. Dissolve 10 grams of caustic soda in 100 milliliters of water to prepare a caustic soda solution. Dilute sodium hydroxide solution in the laboratory can also be used. With these solutions, you can test either raw or cooked food items for presence of carbohydrates, proteins and fats. You are advised to be cautious. Perform the tests in the presence of your teacher. Do not smell or taste any chemical. The first and the most simple test is the test for carbohydrates. In our food, carbohydrates are found as starch and sugars. You can test food items for presence of starch. Starch test. Take the cooked or raw food item in a petri dish. With the help of a dropper, put 2 to 3 drops of iodine solution on the food. Wait for 2 minutes. If the brown colored iodine turns blue black, the presence of starch in the food is confirmed. You can test as many food items as possible to check for the presence or absence of starch. Protein test Take the food item in small quantity in a test tube. In case the food item is solid, it has to be mashed or powdered before putting in the test tube. Add about 10 to 12 drops of water to the food item in a test tube and shake the test tube gently. Add 2 drops of copper sulphate solution and stir with a glass rod. Add another 10 drops of caustic soda solution. Stir again and rest the test tube for 4 to 5 minutes. If the blue colour in the test tube turns violet, the presence of protein in the food is confirmed. You can also test other food items to check or the presence of proteins. Fat test Take a brown paper or a white printing paper and put the food item on it. If the food is solid, the paper should be folded and the food item should be crushed within the paper. Care should be taken to ensure that the paper does not tear. Leave the paper on the table for 10 to 15 minutes to let out water present in the food item to evaporate. Using a glass rod, remove and clean the food from the paper. Lift and hold the paper in front of light. You will see an oily patch which confirms the presence of fat.